United States-backed fighters are reporting significant progress in the battle to capture the self-proclaimed capital of ISIS. The new advance in the Syrian city of Raqqa comes after two days of intense fighting. Holly Williams and a CBS News crew were the first American network to report from inside the city. She now joins us from 40 miles outside of Raqqa. Holly, good morning. Good morning. We've been reporting on Raqqa now for more than three years, but this was our first chance to see inside the ISIS stronghold for ourselves. Just three weeks ago, walking the streets of Raqqa would have been suicidal for an American TV crew. But now ISIS is losing its grip, besieged by U.S. coalition airstrikes and America's allies on the ground a ragtag army known as the Syrian Democratic Forces. In more than three years under ISIS control, Raqqa became a killing field. American journalists were beheaded nearby. Others were crucified or thrown from buildings. And even now, the extremists are deadly. As part of our team moved forward, they were spotted by an ISIS sniper. Our producer, Omar Abdulkader, had no choice but to make a run for it. That was close. They were safe but pinned down by at least two snipers. So we are hoping either to get an armored vehicle to take us out from here, uh, or probably when it gets a little bit darker. But then came word there was a suspected ISIS suicide car bomber nearby. 400 yards away, these fighters told us they'd lost five soldiers to one of the bombs the day before. They're worried that a suicide car bomber is coming towards the point where we were just sitting. So they've asked us to move over here to take cover. It turned out to be a false alarm. And minutes later, this homemade armor-plated car arrived to ferry our stranded team to safety. A close call with ISIS, even as its so-called Islamic State crumbles. The U.S. military told us there, there are still around 2,500 ISIS fighters inside Raqqa, and they are now close to being entirely surrounded. Margaret? Holly Williams in Raqqa province. Thank you.